Hello everybody and welcome back to Glittered and Glued. So today I'm going to share with you my project that I made for Tracy at TYS Creates here on YouTube. She of course is hosting a challenge giveaway and um, her requirement was to make a memory Dex card and a tag. And so I did that and I wanted to show you the paper that I used for the project first. I used the Prima Apricot Honey. This is such a pretty paper. Have you, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, you should definitely check it out. Um, Hobby Lobby actually is carrying this one. And so this is the project I made. Um, so here I just kind of packaged it up a little bit. Um, just so she have a nice little package to open up. And so I'll kind of walk you through what I did a little bit. I used some of the cut parts um, and of course, you know, the paper from the paper pack and used some seam binding. This is kind of a, a gray color. I can't remember exactly which color it is, um, but it's real pretty. I thought it looked real nice. The tone color looked real good with this paper. And so let me just kind of pull everything out. And this is just one of those little folded pockets. And, um, of course, this paper is double-sided, which is great. It's just really thick and kind of hard to make these little folded pockets because it is very thick. Um, but the inside is just so pretty. And then the kind of that gray stone, stone concrete look on the outside. That's why I decided to go with the gray instead of the white because um, I have the seam binding in gray and white. But I like this. I just think it's really pretty. And then you can see some of the cut parts right there and more of that copper um, foiling is just so pretty. I love it. So let me show you my projects. Uh, first, I just given her some little stuff from my stash, some flatback pearls and some uh, sequence mix and some of the cut aparts from the paper collection. Some of these are very pretty. I won't, I won't open it up, but just some cut parts. Just wanted to share a little bit with her. And so let's go through um, the main requirement here. So let's start with the memory decks card. And so um, first I used a butterfly die and I double it's kind of double layered, if you can see right there. I used Wink of Stella all over the butterfly and on the little ephemera, you know, well, cut apart pieces. I made them you know, into little ephemera cut aparts. And um, just so it would give it a little bit of an extra sparkle to it. I don't know if the camera's really picking it up. Uh, the lighting's not really perfect to show the Wink of Stella, but when you look at it, you can definitely tell it's there. And then, of course, I used eyelash trim and I used some organza ribbon that I had some very wide organza ri ribbon I just love working with it I think it's so feminine and which was just perfect for this paper collection I uh, just thought it just looked really nice kind of you know given that kind of an opaque opaque look in the background and just a very simple not too cluttered, but because the paper has a kind of a lot going on, it looks very full and very, you know, just kind of dynamic. But really, I just using a few little pieces here and there, um, you know, so very simply using them made it in touch, you know, into such a pretty project. But, um, and then of course, you know, got the little pearls there, the little flat back pearls there. And then uh, I did put paper on the back and I used two pieces of the, um, I think I used 110 pound cardstock. Either way, that sucker's pretty firm and not going anywhere. <laughs> and then for the tag component, um, more paper from the paper collection. And this time I used the butterfly pieces here. And then again, I don't know if you can really see, but each little butterfly on the paper in the background, I used the Wink of Stella on that as well just to give it it's just so cute when you look at it not the whole paper just the little butterflies themselves it just gives it that little extra touch and then of course i used um that layering butterfly die and did the two of the small butterflies and then just like they're kind of you know flying out from the bottom or coming up and i just think they're cute and i put the wink of stella on them as well and i used some more of this gray seam binding on both wrapping it around kind of like you know kind of like a little mummy wrap and i wrapped it around there and then um just tied it off and then i used on top of it some of the um copper thread from hobby lobby and then at the top did a little bow in that same seam binding and then clipped on a little butterfly uh, charm 
on one of those little bulb pins right there you can see in the back there just clip that right on there she can take that off and use it again really most of this she could just take off and repurpose if she wanted to and I really like making projects that can um, be used again you know if you know, just kind of scavenge from it a little bit and make it into something new you know after you've enjoyed it for some time it's great to be able to reuse the uh, the pieces but again very sturdy card there and I just think it turned out adorable and then of course I used kind of this um, antique looking um, button but I cut off the back so I could glue it down just to kind of set right over this little tie off right there and I thought that was a cute little way to do that so I've mixed in you know you've got the copper foiling the gray toned um, the gray toned seam binding and then these kind of this pewter look from the button and the um, the ball pin as well as the butterfly charm there and it's just kind of got like again it's very simple but it looks like it's got a whole lot going on and I love to make projects like that I always feel you know that they are just simple but beautiful and then uh, of course I showed you these and I just tucked them right back into the little pocket there and that's how I'm gonna ship it to her but that is my project guys thanks so much for watching